The programming editor must be closed to perform a block comparison. To begin, be careful to highlight the blocks folder. If a single block is highlighted, only that block will be compared. Select the options menu and choose compare blocks. You can also right click on the blocks folder and choose compare blocks. You have the option to include system data blocks, which would be the hardware configuration, to compare only to see if the timestamps are the same, or the default, which is to execute a code comparison of the blocks. We're going to execute a code comparison. Click Compare. Somatic Manager then runs a block-by-block -block comparison. Data blocks will almost always show in the comparison because the actual values are changing. To omit the data blocks, place a check in the box, hide data blocks with different actual values. Path 1 is the offline project storage location. Path 2 is the online PLC program. In the comparison list, OB100 says that Path 1, the offline project, contains a newer version. Highlight the OB100 block. If you would like to see a description of differences, click the Details button. The Details window shows timestamps, interface changes, size, length changes, and so forth. Click the Close button. Make sure that OB100 is highlighted and click the Go To button. This opens a detailed side-by-side -side view of the blocks. The offline block is on the left and the online block is on the right. If you look in the Comparison tab at the bottom of the Program Editor, it tells you that in Network 1 of this statement list code, the offline block contains the command less than or equal to as integers, while the online block contains the command equals equals, which means equals to as integers. The second line in the Comparison tab says that Network 2 of the offline block contains the command greater than or equal to as integers, while the online block contains the command equals equals as integers. We would now decide which block is correct and sync the two with the download if the offline block is correct or close the offline block and perform a save to transfer the online block to the blocks folder. Close the programming editor. In the comparison list, FC3 is also newer in the offline version. Highlight FC3. And click the details button if you want to see a description of the changes. Here you can see that the offline block size is smaller than the online block size. Close the details window. Click the go to button. In the comparison tab at the bottom of the programming editor, Network 3 in the offline block shows an operator of greater than or equal to 1. This means the network is using OR logic. Network 3 of the online block has newly added AND logic, which is the open contact input 0.4. We would now decide which block is correct. If the offline block is correct, we would download it to the PLC. If the online block is correct, we would close the offline block and perform a save. Close the programming editor. F16 in the comparison list shows that Path 2, the online path, has the newer version. Click the Go To button. In the comparison tab at the bottom of the programming editor, you can see that Network 4 in the online window has the added address M87.5. Close the programming editor and close the Compare Blocks Results window. You have the ability to do a Path 1, Path 2 comparison. This is shown in the video Compare to S7 Offline Projects. Close the Compare Blocks tool. This concludes the video Compare S7 Online Project to Offline Project. To begin, right-click the Blocks folder, choose Compare Blocks, and select Path 1, Path 2. The open project will be Path 1. 
Next to Path 2, click the Select button. Click the drop-down in the Project Name field and navigate to the project where you want to compare. We will select My Underscore Backup Underscore Project. Navigate down to the Blocks folder of the project. With the Blocks folder selected, click OK. We will choose to perform a code comparison. Click the Compare button. The first block, OB100, shows that Path 1 has a newer version. However, in the Notes field, the interface and block code are identical. Only the timestamps are different. This means that Path 1 was saved after Path 2. Perhaps a change was made and then reversed. Also notice the Go To button is grayed out because there's no difference in the code. The icon next to the result shows a yellow box over a green square. The yellow box indicates a timestamp difference and the green square means the code is the same. You can click the Help button to see more icons and their meanings. Click the Details button to see a description of the differences. The block in Path 1 shows a much newer timestamp than Path 2, but everything else is the same. Close the Compare Blocks Details window. The icon next to the FC3 block is a yellow box on a red square. The yellow box means there's a timestamp difference, and the red square means there's also a code difference. Select the FC3 block. The Note window confirms that the code blocks are different. Click the Details tab only if you wish to see a description of the differences. The Path 2 block is larger. Click the Close button. Click Go To. The Comparison tab at the bottom of the Programming Editor shows that in Network 1 of Path 1, the timer is an extended pulse timer, whereas the timer in Network 1 of Path 2 is an off-delay timer. The second statement in the comparison window shows that Network 2 of Path 1 is identical to Network 3 of Path 2. This means a new Network 2 has been added to the Path 2 project. Close the Compare Blocks Results window and close the Compare Blocks window. This concludes the video on comparing two S7 offline projects.